What's up guys? I'm Jesse. This is Melissa. Hey. We are Adventure Endeavor. Today we are doing something pretty fun. We are here at Lion Energy. We recently became affiliates uh, with this great company. They make lithium ion batteries, portable power packs, overlanding solar kits, and we decided to come and take a tour because we were in the area and we wanted to bring you guys along. Let's go. Well, I'm Steven with Line Energy, and this is a sampling of some of our products. Um, we're located in our demo room here at our corporate office in Utah. So, biggest thing that we usually talk about our best seller is our RV battery line. Uh, most commonly sold is our UT1300, which is referring to the number of watt hours that's in the battery. That's how much juice you get. So we've also got a, a people don't usually know that they just buy the RV battery, but we've got a range of other portable power products, um, solar generator type products is what the industry usually refers to them as. Whether it's quick, on the go, charge your phone, laptops, that kind of stuff, or if it's more of a base camp, wherever you're camping kind of thing, we can power a lot more of lights and fridges and that kind of stuff. And then we've even got some, you know, be ready if they have an emergency, like jump starters. Really popular recently, we've also started selling a lot of these DIY beginner solar kits, where we'll get a solar panel, and then we include a charge controller and a 400 watt inverter with some USB outputs. And then you can decide to either purchase one of our smaller battery units, this is the 250 with it, uh, or you can, you can run it off any battery, whether you've got lead acid or any other type of battery. It's pretty compatible with anything, but obviously we think the lithium is the best way to go. Um, so yeah, at Light Energy, we are just excited about people having power. We are excited about people who want to go out, whether it's camping, whether it's because they have some sort of emergency prep thing, whether it's for your work, right? We want people to be able to have power whenever, wherever, it's power your life, right? That's the whole goal. So whether you're cooking, or your full-time RVers, right? Like you guys. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to make sure that you've got the power in you wherever you go. Look, guys, does this look familiar? You've seen this Green Mountain Grill many times, and uh, they have it set up here to run off. This is the Safari LT. That's right. Yeah. Which has solar plugins and all sorts of outputs. Yeah, you can run it off the AC power here on the side. Or, with the smaller units, I always recommend 12 volt, like cigarette lighter. Yes, yeah, so you're not losing power. It's more efficient. Yeah, exactly. You know? And, uh... Like, even with ours, we just run it directly to the Lion, the UT1300. That's true. Yeah, just if you just had the terminals on the back. Yep. I mean, that's, we have the converter in case we need it, or, but yeah. most of the time we don't bother. And that's just really about having options. Whatever For sure. power type is available to you, you just For make sure, sure you're, you're ready to cut. And then he was saying, Stephen was saying that... The, the Green Mountain David Crockett could even run off the Cup Go, which is a lot smaller unit power pack. That was three pounds. Three pounds, that's right. Versus nice. the 11 pounds on the here on the scare. Flashlight on the side too, that's cool. Correct, so yeah. Always a good option. I have done many tri-tips with the Green Mountain and that Cup Go. How do you turn the flashlight on? How you hold the... Oh, you hold the power. The power User down. error. Yeah. And I think we've got some you cycle through, it's got like strobe and safety mode. That kind of thing. So if you're on the yeah. side of the road and you break down, you could always have a flashing. And what's the uh, the charge time on this? In the milliamps? It's uh... Yeah. I, I hate milliamp hour readings, even though they become kind of standard. Yeah. It's With because typical power packs. Yeah, they're intentionally inflated. I mean, it's misleading, right? For because sure. You know, typically your amp hours go up when you put things in parallel. Mm -hmm. Your voltage goes up when you put things in series. With these, they're in series, so the voltage goes up. Mm -hmm. But they, they list the milliamp hours as if they were in parallel. You know, yeah. Everything should just be in watt hours. If mm -hmm. everything was in watt hours, exactly. it's, all, it's all apples to apples if it's It'd watt be hours. Simpler, yeah. So it's a 150 watt inverter and 120 watt hours of okay. power storage, right? Compared to the LT that you're looking at, which is 450 watt hours, yeah. which is just over three times as much. The size is so nice, though. Yeah. I mean, that's great. That's truck camping. This is yeah. maybe backpacking? Well, yeah, definitely backpacking. Maybe. My wife keeps it in her purse, you know? Tablets. What kind of purse That kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you got purses. <laughs> it's like a Mary Poppins bag, right? There's all kinds of stuff in there. That's nice. I like that. 
This one? Yeah, this is a 100 watt, it's a suitcase uh -huh. um, flowing panel. The nice thing about 100 watt panels, as long as you come in under the, act, the exact 100 watt mark, uh, your tariffs are actually substantially oh. lower. So if you start buying like 120 watt panels, you'll notice that there's a bigger jump from like 100 to 120 than there is from the 80 to 100. Okay. Yeah. Because everybody that jumped from 100 to 120 now has to pay additional taxes, like significant, like 30 percent, like like significantly uh, additional taxes. And then this is just an Anderson plug, right? Yep. Just a standard. Yep. That's the same input the solar that we have on the LT, so that comes standard by default. This is not recommended, but apparently their panels are very durable. Um, yeah, they're roof grade panels. They're tempered glass, right? Like I weigh 200 pounds, whatever you want. That's really good to know. Hopefully it doesn't break like the Tesla commercial. Um, <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> but these are awesome. They're super portable. They fold up and yep. they can be daisy chained together so you can buy multiple panels and just connect them all together. Yeah, I'll show that. So you take the output of this one and plug it into the input on this one. Mm -hmm. and, and then the legs just pull out. Yep, of course. So you can set up, angle it at the sun in the evening, right? So you get much That's better cool. power output from it. This would... Um, this would be a great option if you're a full-timer or part-timer and you know maybe you want to park in the shade to stay cooler but yet you can run the cord out and put these in the sun. We might have to get one of these. It's pretty nice. This is our corporate office and shipping facilities, so we store everything here. Um, I mean, this is our only only location, right? Um, so everything you see kind of to this side of me is all testing, QC, um, repair area. We kind of walk in here in a second. Then everything over here is just storage, and then all of the shipping happens back there at the back. Uh -huh. So um, you can come over here. They're kind of starting to close down for the day, but. Um, so we do 100% QC testing on all of our batteries here. Um, that includes, um, like obviously, like 99% of lithium batteries come from China, mm -hmm. right? So anybody that says that their batteries are made in America, unless they're like Tesla, uh, is probably not being truthful. Now we have seen people say like assembled in America, that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, that means, I mean, that's like saying Ikea furniture was made in America, right? Like you got all the pieces and you put them together. You put it together. But, uh, but we are proud of our testing. Like I said, we test every single battery, 100% um, of them. You can come over here and see some of the equipment stuff we do. Um, our QC is very rigorous, right? If he has a bad feeling about it, right, he's gonna fail at that of testing, right? He's gonna store it, we're gonna do more in-depth kind of testing. If it smells bad, if the guy loading the shipping container was smoking and he doesn't like it, you know, that battery's not gonna go out. So we're pretty good about it. Not to say that we never have any problems in the field. It's of course not 100% avoidable, mm -hmm. but we're also, when you buy our batteries, you're, you're in a partnership with us at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're making sure you have power. We are making sure that you're gonna have a good product. So anything goes wrong, I mean, we stand behind our warranties 100%, right? And it's not like when you call in, we gotta go through some hour long checklist of can we do all this troubleshooting? It's like, you know, is your battery have a hole in it? Okay, did you drop it down the stairs? No, cool. Does it have a charge at all? Yes, okay, it's not just dead, right? Like we have to make sure. Um, that's about it. Mm -hmm. As long as it's good, then we're like, cool, yeah, if there's anything wrong with it, we'll replace it for you. you know? That's awesome. 100%. I wanted to show you this. So this we're doing, um, this is actually just finished. But this is where we do discharge and charge testing. This whole system uh, is automatable, both charging and discharging. You can watch the actual discharge curves, so you measure capacity here. We have a 105 amp hour battery. It's not uncommon to get 106, you know, so the batteries mm -hmm. are going to perform or over deliver, um, you know, every time. And we can, we can measure and test that here. This is actually a cycle tester for this or even any of our smaller type batteries. You can take individual battery cells and throw them on that and it'll do like a thousand cycles. Wow. Uh, it'll put a thousand life yeah. cycles on, two thousand, three thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we warranty these, we say lifetime warranty, what that means is after putting 3,500 full charge and discharge cycles on your battery, we guarantee you'll have 80% capacity left at that time, right? Um, 
if in any way it performs less than that, it's a warranty replacement. That's great. When That's it, awesome. Whenever that is, right? Yeah. So yeah. imagine if you're putting one cycle on this every day, yep. which if you're doing that, you probably need two batteries, mm -hmm. right? Because that means you're dying. Y yeah, you're day, going all the way dead. Which is and annoying. Full, so yep. you might as well get two. Um, but if you're putting one cycle on every day, that's basically a 10 year warranty, right? 9.6 years yeah. at that point. If you're doing it every other day, your warranty time just doubled. Yeah. Okay? If you're doing it every three days, your warranty time is tripled, right? Now yeah. we're talking about 30 year warranty on a battery that you're doing every three days, right? It's being used yeah. all the yeah. time. If you're one of those people that goes like five times every summer, yep. I mean, your battery warranty just became 100 plus years. Yeah, right? that, at that point, yes, yes. At that point, you're bad, like, you're going to be passing it on to your children and you yeah. know, do you really care about the warranty at that point? Right. I'm mean, not saying you don't care about your kids and you want to have good benefits, yeah. but, but lifetime is, you know, the people that are putting one life cycle on a day, they buy two batteries and now it takes them two days and yeah. now they have a 20 year warranty. Yeah. You know, or like you guys, you have three batteries. Exactly. Right? So it takes you longer to drain them. For sure. You know, so anyway, and the BMS battery management system inside right here actually is actually measuring the life cycles mm -hmm. in and out. When we get them back, it logs every time you start charging, every time you stop dis start discharging or stop charging or stop discharging, and it gives the state of charge at all those points of time. So we can watch your batteries up and down, charge yeah. and discharge throughout its life. So you can see if there's any errors or anything yep. that was weird. It'll, log and, and, uh, it'll be like, ooh, it was short circuited at this point, you know, something yeah. like that. That's so, great. So we can always bring them back in, just take these screws out, plug into the mm -hmm. BMS, and download the history and see what's going on. There so you, you can go. see we have four prismatic cells. Um, if you compare that to something like the Battleborn battery, they use cylindrical cells. So if you were to look inside their battery, it would be like looking inside and seeing a bunch of like C cell batteries, yeah. right? uh, or D cell or something mm -hmm. like that batteries. Um, they've got, I can't remember, but it's like over a hundred right that okay. are in there to form that larger battery bank. That's a hundred plus potential points of failure or imbalance or anything like that. That's just more work that their BMS has to do. It's not to say it's a guarantee it's going to fail, but we have four points of failure, right? We have four gotcha. batteries just stacked up to get to 12 volts. Um, they're all laser welded together. I mean, it's solid construction. There's a whole green circuit board in there mm -hmm. that's a little bit hard to see. The battery man management system sits underneath um, where you've got your charge indicator here. Mm -hmm. And so that's got high temperature cutoff, low temperature cutoff, over voltage, under voltage, over current, mm -hmm. all the things, right? It also balances the cells to make sure that they're all balanced, which is important. Um, uh, and it's solid. With these batteries, we get this question a lot. People will be like, hey, I got my battery. It was like half dead. What's wrong? And I'm like, well, so the federal regulations pr prevent us, forbid us from shipping these at full charge. Okay. So you get your battery at like half charge. That's why. Yeah, uh, ours is about 60% uh, when we right. got it. So we try to keep a small stock that's fully charged up here for when people walk in. Okay. Because it's just nice to be able we don't oh, have to ship sure, it. Yeah. If we don't have to ship it, we can give it to them fully charged. But if we do ship it, unfortunately, we can't ship it. And that's just charged. a safety. Precaution. Yeah, why is that? Yeah, that is a that is a hazmat lithium battery shipping regulation. Okay. Those types of batteries. Yeah. So you, it's illegal gotcha. for us to ship them fully charged. Um, so we try to basically give you as much as we can without. We try to give you as much battery life as we can. Staying within their staying standards. within the legal parameters, um, but we do recommend when people get them, it's nice to connect them and then fully charge them all if they're in parallel. If you're gonna put them in series, like for a 24 or 36 yep. volt system, charge them all first. Okay. And then put and them then put in. Yeah. Because when you're filling them up in parallel, it's kind of like it's kind of like you took three water tanks and just connected them all together, right? Yeah. They kind of e e all even out mm -hmm. together. But when you put them in um, series, it's any current that goes into any of them has to go into all of them. Gotcha. So if you got one that's dead and one that's full, you're gonna be charging as soon as your full one hits full it prevents the charging of everything else, mm -hmm. right? So now you got one that's dead and one that's yeah, That's just, what balancing is yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Right? Which yeah. is why we tell you to fully charge them all or fully discharge them all, whatever. Yeah. But make sure they're all the same. The same, exactly. You want to make sure they're all the same and balanced. That way they all fill together and they all drain together and you mm -hmm. get the maximum amount of capacity out of all of them. Great. Makes so sense. much good information here. A lot of people, I mean, most people are doing 12-volt systems. Yeah. Um, and so they just connect them in parallel and then it's not really a, a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The question people ask a lot about uh, lead acid batteries specifically is they say can I buy one now with lead acid you're not supposed to buy another one like a year later okay. and, yeah. and to expand the system mm -hmm. but with lithium as long as you're putting them in parallel you can expand it anytime. there's not really a problem with that so you buy one for your 12 volt system and you're like this is cool this is cool like, man it'd be really cool if I 
could run whatever, so I want to get two. You just buy one more, you put them in parallel. That's exactly what we did. Yeah. Buy one more, you put them in parallel. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's fine. A year later, that's fine. You know? mm -hmm. Not that I recommend this, but I've had people do like our 100 amp hour and our 20 amp hour batteries. Yeah. And put them in parallel. Yeah. And all you do is you get 120 amp hours, mm -hmm. you know, as long as they're the same type of batteries. Yeah, exactly. With the iron phosphate battery. And these are awesome. rated to go in series and parallel. That's another distinguishing factor. Not, not every manufacturer does that. Approves series and parallel connections with yeah. your batteries. So, yep. And now all of all of your batteries are series and parallel. All of them, like the UT twelve. Uh, yeah, the UT. Yeah, the UT okay. series. So the 250, 700, and the seven hundred and the thirteen hundred. Okay, good to know. Yep. Regulated 12 volt output, 12 volt output. We got USB, we got 60 watt uh, PD for like laptop chargers, 18 watt PD for for your phone to say charging rapidly, you know, <laughs> which is a big deal to me. I don't know why. That's <laughs> very exciting. Um, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 4000 watt surge. Um, charging inputs are on the back. This is the one that I showed you earlier that had the expandable battery that you can add another two kilowatts uh, of charge. So three kilowatt hours, just, uh, just under three kilowatt hours total. With the expansion battery as well, mm -hmm. which is quite a bit. Yeah, that's you know, um, I think this is going to be, as far as the RV market is concerned, the people that are going to like this the most are the ones that. I feel like there's a lot of people that just want to run that window AC unit for just like a couple hours. For and sure, like yeah. please, for the it's so hot, just mm -hmm. let's run it. For We've a couple been hours. in that scenario oh, before. Yeah. <laughs> and this is great for that without having to have the full solar install. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, this also will take up to 600 watts of solar all by itself. Wow, um, it's right there, 24 volt. And this is where you'll plug in the external battery, and then you can also charge it from the wall, uh, which which it will do very quick. I think this whole unit will charge in like an hour and a half just with the wall charger. That's pretty amazing. Um, and you can do the same an hour and a half with just just solar. If you have like 600 watts, you know, solar. guys we hope you enjoyed that tour there was a lot of great information yeah um, my head is going to explode and so we really really like these batteries um, when we had them and then now after doing the tour it just kind of you know and cases that I don't what would you like call solidifies it solidifies like solidifies it yeah I mean the people that work here are awesome and you know just seeing the testing that they do for all of their batteries their customer service is incredible their customer service the warranty all the different products they have a lot of products for overlanders like little solar kits um battery packs all sorts of different things and it was awesome and steven did great he's like a natural he's like better than us on camera <laughs> so don't forget if you want to buy any lion energy product use our discount code adventure 15 you can get 15 percent off right wait did i say that right yes you said it right okay. adventure 15 no space adventure 15. it'll be linked below if you have any questions we will do our best to answer them and like always guys don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button ding ding, ding. we'll see you on the next one